Hello, welcome to Tech Channel. In this session, we will see how we can create the drop down option in Display File. Okay, so firstly, I will show you the program and its output, then we will design it. So, I'm calling this program. So, we don't have any option here directly for the drop down uh, menu, but we will try to create some alternative to perform the same thing. Okay, so here in this screen, you can see that. Uh, I have written one verbiage over there and this is the show colors uh, which I am considering as a drop down menu. So whenever I click on this, it will show me the window. Okay. So this is kind of uh, like we can assume that this is the drop down menu. And right now I am just showing these options, but you can take input field also for taking the, uh, the, for the uh, selection. And as per your logic, you can remove this uh, window whenever the input is selected. Okay. So this is how we will uh, create the alternative for the drop down. Okay. So main purpose is like uh, we can create we can create uh, these kind of tags here also, multiple tags. And whenever we click on a particular link, then it uh, it will show the drop down to below to that. Okay. So let's see how we can design it and how to uh, use an RPG program and write a logic for it. Okay. I'm taking option 17 to show you the display file first. So this is the drop down the uh, name of my display file. Here I have created one record as a record type and I will show you this. So in this I'm just uh, taking one verbiage for the heading purpose and then this is my function key as a heading and here I have created one output field. So if I check its name, so its name it is colors. So why we are creating this output field? O is for output, right? If you are not aware how to uh, create the output field, then you can write plus O and you can pass the number of digits we want to show as an output field. So I'm passing it 5. So it will create it, okay? And to change the color, you can uh, press S trick, then hit enter, and in colors you can select any color which you want to assign to it. Let's say we want to assign it white color. So I will put one here. So it is created, right? So in this way, you can uh, create the output field. So for now I'm deleting it because we are not going to use this. We will use the this one. So the output field name is uh, colors. How we will check? But just place your cursor here and press question mark. This is the one record. Now whenever we click on this uh, output field, we will show another window that we have already created here. So this is my window. So it looks like this. So what I did. I just check the exact position uh, below to the output field. So whenever you place your cursor here, you will find the position here like 3003. So accordingly, you can design your window size, which will exactly equal to your output field. And these are the, let me show you the, let me show you the parameters that I have passed for window. So I am taking option eight. So yeah so three and three because we check like we uh, required it exactly here at the three location three so i just passed it and window lines and window position also have decided according to my output field so it looks like like it is exactly equal to the output field so if you're not aware like how to create windows and basic things of this profile like uh, there we have one session for uh, it also so you can refer that session but for mainly in this session, we will look how to create the alternative for the our drop down menu. Okay. So here also I have uh, set few indicators. So let me show you that. So CF03 is for exit and CF05 is for click. So mainly we are going to use click function here. Okay. So uh, click function we are also discussed in the last session, but this time we are using it for some purpose for designing uh, the designing the uh, drop down menu. So these are the only thing we, we will design by taking option 17 and few things we need to pass directly we can write it into the source code let me show you that. So if you remember in last session we discussed about two function MOU BTN and return cursor, return cursor location. So firstly I will explain you about the MOU BTN. So here in this record I am writing it MOU BTN and I am passing two argument here star ULP which means on uh, unshifted left press so whenever i click uh, left uh, i press the left button on my mouse it will turn on this indicator so second argument is the indicator which we want to turn on or turn off when we press on it okay so this function will help us to uh, handle the click operation 
along with that suppose we have output field here okay but uh, suppose user is uh, clicking somewhere else so at that time we don't want to uh, show this window because whenever user press on exactly on that uh, text then only we want to show the drop down window so to identify that particular position we are using another function which is return cursor location it will take three argument rcd fld pus and you have to decide these three parameter as it is so what it will do it will return the field name like we have assigned the field name as colors so in rpgl program we will see when the field is exactly colors then only turn on this mouse button okay whenever we press uh, ulp or uh, unshifted left press so these are the two basic function uh, we have uh, discussed many time uh, previous also like how to use written cursor location and mu button so if you are not aware you can go through that also but here we are just using these two function return person location and mou button so this is the only thing we need to take care here so i'm compiling it and then we will see the logic how to write the logic to display this alternative drop down this is my uh, program here we are writing the code in fully free format so these are the control option i have specified for the debugging purpose mainly no debug on ssc steam team now below to that on line number 11 i am passing uh, i am declaring the file which is drop down d with work stn and in main logic we are just running one loop do while loop till the star in 03 is off and we are setting uh, we are setting star in 03 uh, 12 also because whenever it came again to the loop it should be off otherwise we will not be able to close this now on line number 13 uh, the output field we are assigning some name to that output field so stars are show color so it will look like a tab so whenever user press on this show color tab it will show the screen so we are here just we are assigning name to it and then we are sh uh, showing the main screen now here we will capture the click operation so when click is on colors field so this is the uh, comment i have added here why because here we are checking when IN05 is on. So when will be the IN05 will on? Whenever we press the unshifted left uh, button, right? At that time, this indicator will get turns on. But we don't want to show the drop down whenever uh, we are uh, clicking it. We just want uh, at that time when we clicking on the field colors. So this thing we are uh, handling with the help of uh, MOU beacon function. And after that, I am using AND condition to check one more condition like FLD should be colors. So colors is my output field name that we see using uh, question mark. Okay. So when both conditions are satisfied, then only we are uh, displaying the window. And here I'm writing uh, running one loop till the IN012 is off. We will display that window. And if user press F12, then we will came out of this window. And then we are doing uh, end and setting star and live versus star. So I hope this code is quite simple because uh, th those function we have already discussed about the written cursor location and MOU button. Here we are just using it in a way so that it will we will be able to create some drop, uh, alternative for the drop down menu. So this is it looks like. So if I'm clicking it here, then it is not showing that window. But if I click on this output field uh, where we have stored this uh, text, so whenever we click here, it will show the drop down. Right now, I'm just uh, showing it for the display purpose. That's why I'm not taking any input field here. But if you want to take some input and you want to perform some operation, then you in the window, you can design that input field. And uh, as per your logic, you can uh, remove this window as well by taking uh, by turning off the indicator 12. So whenever a user take uh, write any input field, it will directly remove this. OK, so yeah. I think this is all about this session and in the upcoming session we will learn few more things. So thank you for watching TechChannel.